Bronze Tiger versus Nightwing. Who wins and why? It's my boy Nightwing, and let me tell you why. Let me start things off by saying my boy Turner, Bronze Tiger, is the man. One of the coolest assassins from DC who actually has a redemption arc to him. And my boy's got the best drip when it comes down to assassins. Even when he's like a half-human, half-tiger thing for the short time during New 52. And shit, back on Arrow, fantastic casting, and again, the drip. But my big problem with Bronze Tiger is despite how cool he is, and despite how knowledgeable he is, he's very overrated and overhyped as a martial artist. And we all know the two things that people use all the time to support that Bronze Tiger is one of, if not the best martial artist. And they often do so misleadingly. The first of which is, of course, Detective Comics 485 in which Bronze Tiger takes out Batman in just a couple of strikes. Now, I could chalk this up as Batman not taking the fight seriously, but you know what, I'll give this point to Bronze Tiger. But what a lot of people fail to talk about is their rematch, in which Batman does take the fight seriously, and the two go equal with each other. And it wasn't until interference came in, when Batman had the advantage, did Batman actually lose. So, good for a showing for Bronze Tiger, but the rematch clearly was in favor of Batman. And of course, people like to bring up issue number nine of Batman, in which Bronze Tiger and Batman have a little tussle, which Bronze Tiger comes out on top. But there's two things you need to realize about this. Number one, they just stop fighting. And number two, this is a sparring match. The two of them are not going full force. My God, if I went full force in every sparring match I had, that would be a terrible thing. Like, does this look like two bloodlusted individuals? Anyone who argues that Bronze Tiger is as good of a fighter he is based off his one win against Batman in his first appearance and this spiring match is clearly just trying to deceive you, mislead you, or is being disingenuous. Because I'm sure they don't bring up Task Force X issue number 62 in which Bronze Tiger and Batman fight again. And Batman is mollywhopping Bronze Tiger and talking shit the whole time. Actually, throughout the whole entire fight, Bronze Tiger gets one hit in. Good thing Superman was there to stop the fight. I would hate to see what would happen to Turner. Yo, but don't worry. Let's talk about Outsiders issue number 50. In which Bronze Tiger is attacking Catwoman. And he gets perception blitzed by Bruce as matches Malone's and takes him out with one shot using a stool. Hey, remember Secret Six issue number 17? In which Bronze Tiger and Catman go all out with each other and give each other the business. And yeah, Bronze Tiger came out on top, but he didn't really look like a winner to me. And listen, I know people are going to bring up Secret Six issue number two. In which Catman does a very good job at holding his own against the Dark Knight. But there's a big difference between this fight and the fight that Turner had. Because Bruce is not taking him seriously. And unlike Turner... Bruce is in much better condition in this fight, in which one can argue that Bruce came out on top. But yeah, Bruce wasn't taking this fight seriously, because last time Bruce saw a Catman, he was not peak human condition. I mean, what about Deathstroke issue number three? In which Deathstroke, who was really not in the best condition at this time, gets sneaked attacked by Bronze Tiger, and the two go at each other. This is the time that Deathstroke was young, and he actually had to close his eye in order to fight better, because he was so used to fighting with one eye. And he still beat the shit out of Bronze Tiger. And again, this is Deathstroke, who's lost to both Dick and Bruce. But shit, I don't even have to show all that. All I have to do is pull up Grayson issue number 18. In which Grayson and Bronze Tiger fight each other. And Dick has the advantage. Shit, I don't even have to show that. Because in Batman issue 56, Bronze Tiger, while talking to Batman, trying to convince an emotionally unstable Batman not to go up against the KG Beast, admits that Batman is the best. He is admitting he is the best in the world. And listen, this isn't me downplaying Bronze Tiger. He's the man and everyone should know it. But he is a character that's often overhyped when using certain instances that are usually taken out of context and people ignore every other instance of Bronze Tiger versus other people. I can concede that Bronze Tiger is a more knowledgeable fighter than Dick Grayson. But knowledge isn't the only thing you need to win. Dick is just a better fighter. So yeah, the win is Dick Grayson.